Hello everyone. So today I will uh, show you some tips and tricks for sequences, especially when the sequence does not directly start from the first term. For example, let's say the sequence starts from the 10th term, 11th term, 12th term onwards. Then how do you find the nth term rule directly on the calculator, which is really very fast as well. And it gives you an accurate answer. So let's just look at how to get the nth term rule. Thank you. First, let's say if you have a linear sequence. Now, how do you know if it's a linear sequence? I could see that the difference between each term has 4 as a value. So first, we'll go to statistics on the Calci. Then, just type the 10th term, 11th term, 12th term, 13th term. And the corresponding value is 18, 22, 26, 30. Now, just press calc, regression, and x, and then ax plus b. Get the value of a and get the value of b. So from the calci, we know that the value of a is 4 and the value of b is minus 22. So what will be your nth term rule? Just 4 and minus 22. And then once you get the nth term rule, you can always check the answer. Let's say if I substitute n as 10 is 40 minus 22 gives you 18. Now, let's look at the next example. When you know it's a quadratic sequence, now how do you know if it's a quadratic sequence? I see that the difference is 4, 6, 8, 10. None. The second level difference is 2, 2, 2. The only thing, let's say if it's starting from the 15th term, 16th term, 17th term and it's not starting from the first term itself. So what do you do? First delete the old data. Now, we'll first type in all the values like 15th term, 16th term, 17th term, 18th term, 19th term. And their corresponding values 32, 36, 42, 50, 60. Now, you only do need to do just press calc regression x square because it's a quadratic sequence. You directly get the values of A, B and C. Write down the values. 1, B is minus 27 and C is 2, 1, 2. And what is the nth term rule? It's always A n square plus B n plus C. Just substitute the values of A, B, C. So n square minus 27 n plus 2, 1, 2. That's your nth term rule and you can always replace any value like the 15th term, 16th term, any value in place of n and check if this nth term rule is correct or not. 